uh, we're the most watched program in West Australia. So we are, I think, the most popular thing in West Australia at the moment. Oh, main wearing, brilliant. The Eagles have made their mark in the West in a big way, in more ways than we realise. A magnificent kick from Chris Mainwaring. Their popularity unrivaled among the kids, cult heroes. Six goals, four. Geelong's major... Almost half their fans, women, between 25 and 45. For the next six months, we'll talk about them more than anything else. I love Craig Turley. Craig Turley, eh? Well, I think people like to be associated with winners. I've got it. So I think it allows people who want to identify with the team to bask in their glory, to be part of the winners, to be um, right up there with them. Um, it's not just the Eagles, the, the, the players that have won last year when they won the Premiership, it's the state that won. Um, it's our team and the entire state can, in a sense, co-opt that glory. The 92 grand final is underway. Harding stands underneath the ball. Last year's grand final, our streets deserted. The lifestyles of people are changing. Uh, no longer are they simply uh, mowing the lawns or uh, catching a taxi to their friend's place or going to a movie. Um, the retail trade has been hit. I know of grocery stores where they, where they only put on half as many staff now. Taxis to go off the road, at least half go off the road whilst an Eagles replay is on or a live match is on, sorry. I used to work Saturdays. <laughs> Have you ever... Like, uh, has it ever occurred to you, look, you know, I, I think I might give it a break and go to the movies? No, not during football season. Never. He's got a chance if he can get clear. He can't. Look at the tackling by the Eagles. They've been superb all day. The it's Eagles are big business. Out. On average, 30,000 oh, fans at a home game. It doesn't stop there. Stressing the word premiers, because they're premiers for 1993. The school board with the time it finished last year. Well, the most popular things are the T-shirts, which um, everyone likes to wear. Kids, adults can all wear it in the course of our climate. And the caps did really, really well. We sold thousands of T-shirts and, and thousands of caps, and we expect to sell a lot more than that this year. Canadian sports sociologist Philip Moore studies people in sport. He's still trying to tap into our Eagles' obsession. Every time the team plays, there's a chance to experience the, the glory of victory or the absolute horrors of defeat. That you get to experience that in a way, though, that doesn't really change your life. It doesn't get you fired, it doesn't get you promoted, it doesn't do anything. It's a nice, neat part of your life that, that allows you to experience those emotions without it interfering with the daily running of people's lives. Day one, we'd play maybe Eston or Collingwood, and I'd actually clap Collingwood goals and, and, and be very civilised. But now our, our supporter group have become very patriotic. Uh, they've become very West Coast, West Coast Eagles orientated and very much anti-Melbourne to some extent. And they're very much like Victorian crowds now, our own crowds. Some experts question whether that loyalty will last. In other countries, they've generally found in national leagues that one city can support one team effectively. And when you split that, it's much harder for each team to survive. So at the moment, we have a very strong and clear affiliation between the Eagles and West, the West Australian public. It seemed fitting that Charlie Sutton should return to the Melbourne Cricket Ground on Grand Final Day in 1992.